Good girl, Chili. Come on, Tom. Cheryl Ouellette raises a menagerie of animals on her five-acre Pierce County farm. There are turkeys, chickens, ducks, goats, rabbits, sheep, and cows. But Cheryl is known for her pigs. Won't tell me. In fact, she takes great pride in how she has run her farm over the past 20 years. Number one, the animals deserve to have, to be able to be pigs, to be able to, to play in the mud and to, to enjoy their life. What you feed them and how they live affects the taste and the flavor of the meat. Um, we work very hard to make sure that the food that they eat is food that we would eat. It's all uh, smells good, looks good, it's fresh, it's tasty, and it makes very, very good, um, very, very good meat. Ebony, come here. Free range farming, where animals are allowed to roam the property, takes a lot of time and energy. But Cheryl says raising the animals is not the hard part. Finding someone to slaughter them with a USDA inspector present is the real challenge. I did this. This is my girl. For years, Cheryl's pigs were taken to Kapowson in rural Pierce County for slaughter, some 45 minutes from her farm, but her cows had a much longer trip. I know what you want. They were packed into a trailer for a three-hour trip to a slaughter facility in Sandy, Oregon. Sustainable agriculture, as far as I'm concerned, is only sustainable if the farmer can continue to do it. So it can't be one of those things that, you know, you're burning yourself out and you're, you're not making enough money to, to survive. Cheryl was not the only one burning out, trying to get her meat to market. Organic beef farmer Lee Markholt was making a six-hour round trip to Oregon every week. I was driving to Sandy every week, every other week. And, and it was two trips because you had to get the carcass back to my shop, you know, so it was the trip down with the live animal. Uh, days later, the trip back with the carcass. Yeah, wear and tear on my body, on uh, my vehicle, uh, you know. Not to mention all that diesel smoke and the stress the long haul was putting on the animals. The driver doesn't like the haul, but besides that, the animal doesn't care for it either. But local meat farmers had few choices. If they opted not to sell their animals at auction, where they would be shipped to a feedlot and mixed in with other cows and pigs, they had to deal with the long commutes, only to have the slaughtered animals sometimes sent to another facility for butchering and packaging. But a farming conference in Enumclaw that Willette attended a few years ago literally set the wheels in motion for change. What we're trying to accomplish yeah. is keeping the animals calm. This mobile slaughterhouse purchased by the Pierce County Conservation District last summer is designed to preserve local farmland. The 45-foot stainless steel trailer, complete with a USDA inspector and organic certification, travels from farm to farm, eliminating the need to drive local animals out of so state. I have grown my industry and I've got lots and lots of customers, but I can't grow any more product. So now is the time I have to start growing more farmers. We'll let champions the mobile slaughterhouse concept to other local farmers interested in learning more about the unit. My goal today was just to see what your operation is down here. With about 40 meat producers on board right now, she hopes the number of farmers utilizing it will continue to grow. We raise uh, pork and beef, and uh, we're here to, to see if uh, this facility is truly mobile. <laughs> Watch your step around here. As the group tours the trailer, she explains how the process works. The animals need to be chilled down before they can go to most of the meat shops that are Meat farmers there. from most Ferndale to Union like what they hear and see. No anxiety for the farmer or for the animals. For ethical reasons, I like this method. The animals are happy and they're in the sunshine and out of doors until the last minute of their lives. And in others, uh, CAFOs, the, the other way of processing meat that, you know, it's like a cow concentration camp. The mobile slaughter unit itself is the closest thing we can have in this country to an old world practice where it's still done on the farm um, where it's been raised. And, and so that alone is such an impact on everything, you know, stress, which relates to flavor, you know, and it's all that hard work leading up to that. Local restaurants and their chefs also see this as a tasty idea. It means feeling good about the product they're preparing. Primo Grill owner and chef Charlie McManus couldn't agree more. Good to see you. Thank Some you. delicious pork products Yes. For us. He's been purchasing pork from Roulette for the last five years. I'm going to put these right into the walk-in. When you get a local pig growing with care uh, that is slaughtered the day that you receive it, 
it is unlike any other commodity pork product. McManus says anything supplied by Willette, whether it's a pork chop or a whole pig roasted to make pulled pork, is a top seller at the restaurant. He says customers are hungry for local free range meat. There's a real burgeoning local sustainable scene here. And I think it's happening all over the West Coast, but Cheryl with the mobile slaughtering unit, she has really uh, uh, blazed a trail for other farmers and small farmers and wannabe farmers to actually get into the business and be successful. Success to Willette does not mean growing bigger to be better. So Cheryl, will you ever be a big threat to some of the bigger companies? We're never going to replace the big deal. We're no threat to them. We are more of a way to, to help build a community and help plant seeds for new farmers. New meat farmers and longtime farmers alike believe the mobile unit can help them end the long commutes and keep their meat where it was raised, locally. I'm so happy to be in the organic beef business and be able to do it all right here within a block from my farm. I can spend more time concentrating on my product, my marketing, and my customers so that I can make sure they're getting the best of everything. And I can spend more time on the farm with the animals where I need to be. How's it going? Come on, baby!